My name is Kristen Crowley, and I'm the first woman fire marshal for the city of Los Angeles. As the fire marshal, I'm tasked with leading and managing over 200 people within the Fire Prevention and Public Safety Bureau. Our fire inspectors are doing inspections on all of these buildings throughout the day. What we focus on is the prevention and the enforcement of the fire code. Now the public may not even realize exactly how many disasters are actually avoided by conducting our inspections. This keeps you safe when you go to work and when you go home each and every day. I really had no idea I wanted to become a firefighter. I was actually pre-med in college and on my way to become an orthopedic surgeon. Went to EMT school, got my paramedic license, and that was to prep for medical school. Did my ride outs with the fire department and after that, uh, that's exactly what I knew I wanted to do. I promoted from firefighter, firefighter paramedic, engineer, fire inspector, Captain 1, Captain 2, Battalion Chief, Assistant Chief, and now Fire Marshal. All of those different steps helped develop me to who I am today and uh, where I can sit here in the Fire Marshal's position and feel confident in my skill set. Being the first female Fire Marshal in the history of Los Angeles, uh, I take that as a very serious uh, move. I see it really in two main areas. One is just being that role model for any little girl, any woman out there who can just see me and what I've accomplished, that really is one of my main motivating factors. And the second one is really when you talk about bringing diversity into any work environment, it's just really bringing in a unique skill set, a unique perspective. And I think overall that'll make our organization stronger. I've had the, the honor to run a number of our high school fire academies throughout the years and we've touched over a thousand uh, LA Unified School District high school students and they, what they do is they come and participate in our high school fire academies and I've had the opportunity to mentor and coach them all the way through the program in and through college and a number of them actually have entered into a career in the fire service and it's an amazing feeling to be able to touch the community like that in a positive way and really influence these young adults to make a difference in the world. When I came on the job, I made a promise to myself, no matter what, I would never become complacent. I'd learn my job, I'd learn it well, and then I'd move on. Because once you become an expert in something, that's the time to push forward and learn a new job. The eyes will always be on you, especially as a female employee. They're on you a little bit longer, but once you prove you can do that job and do it better than anybody else, literally the sky's the limit. People ask all the time about those big fires, the big incidents, those multi-casualty types of calls where you have a lot of different patients and how that affects you in the fire service. But the reality for me is the calls that really stick with me are the ones where I was able to connect, truly connect with the patients, with the families. I have one particular incident that still sticks with me and it was an elderly woman who just lost her husband of 60 plus years and she was having a very difficult time. We could have easily just walked in there and said, sorry for your loss, we're gonna call the coroner and the police department and then be done with the call. But the reality is when you take that extra step to connect, that's what it's all about. That's what we did is we held her hand through the whole time and explained exactly what was gonna happen from this point forward and really connected with her in her time of need. And those are the types of calls that really stick and have stuck with me throughout my career.